Yeah, um, I actually, so like, so I just wanted to call and just, like, talk to someone because I am, like, so frustrated with this shit. It is, it is absolutely horrible. Like, as, you know, I started noticing all this, this, like, right after Bernie, I started noticing all these, this change in like some of the media outlets I was I was watching like Kyle Kalinske and they were just like not really giving uh AOC like good reporting like like it was okay they were criticizing her but then also they were like not not um showing like the good things that she would do and this is not like to sound culty I just noticed it a little bit I'm like okay whatever but then like after the after uh the general election like, it started to get, like, really weird because there was this People's Party thing, and I actually was for it at first. Um, so that was going on, and uh, whenever uh, Jimmy, like, whenever Jimmy had a pair, he had a couple of these shows, like, right after the general election where he's like, we need to force a vote, we need to force a vote. And he wasn't really, like, he wasn't really, like, yeah, he was basically telling AOC to do something, but it was, like, subtle. And I think that's when it started to get planned. I think this was planned out a long time ago. I absolutely this whole agree. Thing. Real quick, by this the way, was, do you want to introduce yeah. yourself to the, the people? Oh, listening? yeah. And I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, my name's Jessica. And um, I'm like, like she said, I'm like a royal cunt bitch uh, because I'm about done with <laughs> With 2020, because well, luckily, I was a so is 2020. It's over. <laughs> I know, but now I'm like releasing all that. Like, I was still like, like this is my new start. Like, my New Year's resolution is just to like say fuck it and like try to enjoy that this year. That was my because... New Year's resolution last year, and so far it's been yeah. going pretty well. I can I can tell I, uh... you, it's, it's a good it's a good thing to get resolved. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, like so. I worked my ass off for Bernie. Um, I was a volunteer there. I did. Um, I first got into organizing. I started organizing with NNU after I had to get leave nursing school because of a health issue. And I'm like, well, I had to, you know, I wanted to continue doing something because I had, you know, issues with insurance. So I started organizing with them for Medicare for All. Then Bernie announced and I started doing that. So I've been like pretty close with some of these things. I've been in, I'm in like a, uh, debt collective a local chapter there i've been our revolution and i did stuff there so i've been in like a lot of different there's a local progressive group and i mean i've been in a lot of different groups um and i really don't understand like and i'm not trying to sound elitist i don't even know how to use like obviously this 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 <laughs> uh you know this live stream stuff but i don't right. I don't have any clue, like, what is going on in this, this Twitterverse, because, like, this is not stuff that we really discuss. Like, there's a lot of people on our groups that don't even know who Jimmy Dore is. Like, and a lot of nurses, like, they're <sighs> older, and they, like, don't know. Like, I don't, no, I don't see how hear, people like, don't get that. No, 90% I don't see how of don't Democrats support force the vote. 90 percent 90 percent of democrats that? so what are democrats like people who watch the jemmy door show but then they're not democrats no so that's no, the no, thing no. too it's like Rihanna their people said that party she spoke to a union once therefore 90 percent of democrat that was literally i played the clip yesterday she spoke okay, to a union yeah once, therefore 90 percent of democrats support force the vote that's that, that was i don't know what, what she spoke to because i mean there's a conference and I've been trying to share. I'm like, okay, well, if they're going to do this force the vote thing, I'm going to share this conference. And at first, I was like, good faith with it. Because I'm like, okay, we need to connect these two things. Because there's something going on here that's not going on here. I'm like, well, why don't we just like figure out and connect these things? But they were being like very, very hostile. And I did not understand. I do. I did watch Dora for a while. I watched, and I wasn't watching him because he was like being a royal dick. And I could tell he was lying, like he lied about Kara's Act and AOC, and I was just fucking done with it. I knew he was like, that's right the thing. It's like you, you, shit. you like saw that scam and were like, nope, I'm done. But yeah. a lot of people saw the scam yeah. and they believe it. And so when they you, say this is the same thing with the yeah. Russia Gate thing as well, it's like yeah, there's you know problems with the whole thing, right? But like, if you even acknowledge that Russia has, en like, that e if Russia exists, right? If they have an internet connection anywhere in Russia, if you acknowledge that, all of a sudden you're a Russia gator. So it that is. kind it's of a like thing CIA is a way to cancel bot. other people. 
What it is is a exactly. way to get yeah, it's for Jimmy Dore to make sure that people watch him more and unsubscribe from other YouTube channels. Exactly. That's what and that it is. is what I am absolutely terrified about because what this is doing is he is not just doing and the, these YouTube channels are his own friends that he says they are and they're trying yeah. to like coddle him. Yeah. And it's like doing and I feel like on one hand I feel like they're scared like these other shows are like scared cuz they kind of built this kind of relationship i don't know what their relationship or anything is but they see what went on with tit and they're like if i get on his bad side he's gonna you know say all this and and whatever and i don't i don't know what the relationship is there but i'm just like what the fuck people like do you realize him being on here and saying this shit is like destroying your brand like who's gonna that's who's the thing. gonna watch you that's the thing it, who's is, gonna... it's it's a way for them to build their own network now again right again Bad Faith, they just launched and they they got $35,000 a month on their Patreon. I know, I saw that and I was subscribed to her because I this is what broke my heart is I love I love Brianna Joy, but she like I don't know what what was going on with her and honestly the, the shit that she did with me, and that's why I said I I I said on her Twitter I said you are you are a fucking backstabber. Like how dare you? We worked our ass off for this campaign. Like we worked our ass off for it, and um, not to that's a, I keep thinking, ass off and whatever I say that work your ass off or whatever, yeah, because um, of Georgia, yeah. So uh, I don't know. He's there's something about his face that just no. Um, I so mean, I, I endorse... yeah, we worked. I know. I, I saw that you were saying femboy. I'm like, yeah, yeah, he kind of is, but he's also beat Buttigiegy, and I don't trust I'll him because he like has a poker face yeah anyway so yeah we worked on it and aoc was actually on the ground knocking doors in the middle of fucking winter for them she could have been campaigning for herself she could have been doing all these other things they say oh well she didn't do enough she was busy fucking campaigning for bernie she by the was way campaigning what for was bernie. jimmy fucking door doing what was exactly. Jimmy fucking dumbo dumb shit dumb motherfucker <laughs> door doing he was saying bernie's a cuck Go vote for Tulsi Gabbard. What? Yeah. And like and they, the they most did. real quick, let me let me let me go off here. So oh, yeah, the go most ahead, go ahead. important <laughs> thing that we could have possibly done in this country's history for Medicare for all, right? Now maybe you can argue at some point, you know, during the New Deal era, like, you know, but I'm talking about modern history, right? Like in our lifetime. Mm -hmm. Was Bernie mm -hmm. fucking twenty twenty. Even Bernie sixteen as well, right? Like both of the Bernie campaigns, right? Like that was like a once in a lifetime opportunity. And then Bernie was like Let's fuck it. Let's try it again. And then we still fucked it up because of people yeah. like Jimbo Dumbo. And I'm not saying it's just Jimmy. It's not just no. him. But it's the toxic brand of self-absorbed shit fuck for brains losers, right? That are nihilists. But okay, it's fine being a nihilist, right? Go do something else, right? I was a nihilist for like the first fucking 20 years of my life. I just sat in my bedroom and played video games all day, right? <laughs> but it's like, yeah. I didn't go on political channels and say, it's all worthless, bro, on every video. Like, because I'm, I, got, I just didn't care. I was an actual nihilist. But these people are like, so like emphatically and, and like they're so emphatically nihilist they're like these are the people who shove their nihilism in your face don't vote for biden he's a corporate sellout yeah that's true but also they're just ignoring the fact that trump is a worse alternative and i don't even care about the biden thing but you can see that right. there's a similar like track here what was brie joy saying all like the months before the general election what would people like kyle kalinsky saying now i like kyle still he's not in my doghouse he's in my skeptical field you know i'm yeah. skeptical of him you know, one more strike mm -hmm. and he might be out, but I'm still, you he know. Can, he can be redeemed. Listen, yes. Kyle. Yes. Right Listen, now, Kyle. I would say Jimmy Dore is beyond redemption, right? <laughs> Everyone else, I think, oh, could no. get Jimmy out of the Oh, no. Jimmy Dore is, is oh. a, he is a bad person. I'm sorry. Whatever happened to him in his life, I, I understand. But he is a bad person. He is manipulating people. He is destroying this movement. And, yeah, yeah, he is a jack-off comedian. So was Trump. Trump was a tv show host and he's doing the same same exact thing and he does not care he does not care he doesn't care about medicare for all and he's manipulating people in a crisis that are he's going not through a only lot of manipulating pain because people, of what happened to bernie bringing people on his show 
to literally break down in tears recanting the story of like a dead family oh, I member know. right and again I know. the vote the force to vote town hall it's about the strategy everyone watching that already agrees with medicare for all 100% right. of every single person right. who watched that show agrees with medicare for all so that little advertisement or whatever that if you're showing that to Nancy Pelosi I get it right still I'd be skeptical you know it's kind of abusive but I get it, right? Like the Bernie story yeah. thing, like it was a little cringy, but I get it, right? I understand yeah, the argument. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right, you want to wake these people up, I understand. But they were bringing these people on, and then I looked at Jimmy Dore's restream, and he was getting twenty dollars super chats. Jimmy, you're such I a beautiful person. I saw five hundred dollars. Yeah, I saw five hundred dollars. Five hundred fucking dollars super. And chat. that's going into his pocket. Yeah, it's his restream. It's not like if he if he was just directing the audience to the People's Party and the People's Party got the super chats. Then that's an argument, right? Then it's like, okay, they're at least organizing their collective, like they're fundraising for their project. No, this was Jimmy Dore's personal fucking bank account that's getting all this money from having people who he's monetizing crying about their dead family members, right? When yeah. again, everyone already agrees with the policy. We're talking about the strategy. And that's what's yeah. so dishonest about that because I streamed the whole thing. I don't know if you watched my coverage. Um, I did. I, I did. I watched it myself thing. and I wanted to fucking break a window because I, I, it does grab you. And at first I was like, man, this is, this is really compelling. Like this is really I, compelling, yeah, I but what are you going to talk about the strategy? The off. I was very fucking uncomfortable and I was going to turn the stream off and I was like, I yeah. feel like I'm being manipulated here. I'm going to hold it. And then I, it was completely course, genuine. Glad. Like, and that's it the was problem. Completely genuine, is yeah. it's, it's weaponizing yeah. poor people is what it is. Is it's taking poor people and saying they're rightful, righteous anger and then directing that. It's like, you know, controlling lightning in a way. The people are yeah. already angry. So it's like, okay, there's going to be a lightning bolt. I can maybe decide where this lightning bolt lands. That's Jimmy Dore. And Jimmy Dore is using AOC as the lightning rod in this bizarre analogy, right? That's what this is. Is Jimmy Dore is trying to redirect all this anger and outrage and fucking AOC, who's like one of our Who best Who does that allies. sound like? Trump. Literally. That it's sounds the like same Trump. Playbook. It's the same playbook. Yeah, and I'm not saying, here's the thing, is I want the people in the video to understand that I do not think they're stupid. I do not think they're weak. I do not think, like, they aren't doing this in good faith. I believe their pain and everything else. Like, I absolutely, and that's what hurts me. It hurts, and it, what hurt me the most other than they, him, them bashing AOC and unapologetically, like, and lying, like, Brie, no, you know better, and you're, you're letting him lie, even Crystal knew, and um, it's when he, they just started smearing the organizers, and that was there, there at the end, just because we want you to, like, communicate with us, they, and, and they lied about it, they, and the, the conference that they were saying was a big grift, they invited them to speak, they invited Brie to speak, and she said that they didn't talk to him, talk to her, and that's a lie. It's right there on Twitter. Like, and I mean, yeah, I was, I'm aggressive, and you, and you blocked me, but I could, I could not get through to anybody, and this is really bothering me. This is like we have a power vacuum right now because Bernie and is gone. And they're trying to people are suffering. Up. They're gobbling exactly. it up. It's trying to exactly. take the Bernie 20. That's why I think Brie Joy is on this is because she's got that like she was literally like the public face of the Bernie campaign. And I thought yeah. she did a pretty good job. Now, could she have done a better job? Absolutely. But I thought, you know, I, you know, as far as my personal, I loved the Hear the Burn podcast. That was pretty fun to listen to. Right. So yeah, it's like, yeah. you know, now maybe it wasn't the best overall outreach to actually win an election. That's, you know, but as far as our Naylor media thing, I thought she was pretty good. Right. Now, yeah. that being said, she's the official like kind of connection between the Bernie movement. So she's lending all of her credibility that she gained during the entire Bernie movement. Everyone likes her. Right. If you're a Bernie supporter, you're a Brianna Joy Gray yeah. supporter up until this point. Right. And it's like so mm -hmm. then then you'll, you you start funneling into Jimmy Dore. And again, it's like a numbers thing. Right. Like maybe 80 percent of the people are going to realize like, oh, this is kind of unhinged. But if you can get that 20 percent, you're sapping off that 20 percent into a dead They are end. loyal to you forever. Yeah, They're because again, you're, you're which is... disconnecting them from everyone else. You're I getting know. them into their, their own alternate reality, just like the Trumpers, just like QAnon, just like the fucking, even the Russiagate nonsense, right? They're all living in their own bubble, right? And then it's like, okay, from that point on, okay, Bernie, let's say Bernie had, um, let's say 
able to win maybe not but he had like 45 percent. let's say hypothetically he did not have that well but let's go with 2016 numbers and pretend he ran the whole time right let's just pretend let's be hopeful right now the goal is that that's pretty close right so it's like if we can peel off 10 percent of that that weakens that coalition if we can peel off 12 15 exactly 20 percent of that that would make Next time around, way less likely to happen. Then Ob- Barack Obama's not going to need to walk in from the shadows that time, right? That's their goal. That's what I feel like the goal is. And now, is it possible? I feel like it kind of is, too. And I want, mm-hmm. I want to also put this out there. Is it possible Jimmy Dore, because Jimmy Dore is a dumb motherfucker, right? That guy, and again, and I say this with all due respect, he is a dumb motherfucker, right? So J- it's possible Jimmy Dora isn't in on this. It's possible that maybe someone's in on this and is f- like, who gives a five hundred dollars super chat to Jimmy Dora? Why would I you think give Jimmy fucking Dora a five hundred super chat? That may maybe that's just what happens with popular YouTubers. They get five hundred right. It's super a good it's now, right? skepticism right? and whatnot. But you gotta be honest. If you're yeah. making three, four, five thousand dollars. While showing people cry, I have to ask, where does that money come from? And so, exactly. and I'm not saying it's Russia. No, I'm not saying it's Russia. Am I saying it's like a rich Republican who wants to break up the Bernie coalition just a little bit? Or maybe a rich a liberal who wants to break up the Bernie coalition who's like dropping a million bucks into like a fucking slush fund that like is connected to people's accounts where they can just donate yeah. to Jimmy Dore? Is that possible? I think so. And you look at bad I think Faith's it could be. Patreon, I think... Like that I makes thirty five k a month. Where is that money coming from? Exactly, but you know, I think honestly, I just honestly, it's uh, really. I just think that people are looking for something. I and and one thing you have we have to understand is chewing on's a thing, and people didn't take it seriously at first. They didn't take Trump seriously, but like this, these are these are likely most of them are actually people like that have gotten into this that are looking for something like. That's what people don't a lot of people don't understand here at the grassroots, especially in the Midwest is I mean, and that's not that's not their fault. And that's not anybody's fault there. You know that it's that's how they underestimated Trump. So I just feel like this is going in a direction that can cause like permanent damage. So and this is not even we're not even talking about force the vote, which I have my own thing. I think we should just say fuck Pelosi and replace her because we can. And there's a whole video that some uh he's like um he works on monetary policy he's got some degree and he did this whole like data of about how we could get get you know the uh we could get rid of pelosi and get who we wanted uh with a vote strategy so i think that would be the best policy um which i mean again that's a different conversation right like we can have like we can have the strategic conversation and say wouldn't this be cool wouldn't that be cool hell yeah wouldn't that be awesome like and like like and then Jimmy comes into the equation and he like he's like no it's my way or you're a dumb motherfucker you're working exactly. for the establishment you're a sellout if you if it's my way it's hashtag force to vote it's not hashtag housing for all who gives a fuck about India reparations that doesn't help me I want Medicare for all now force to vote like because again it's about peeling off certain numbers Bernie got right. close and that's got people scared and you look at left media. You look at Twitter, which is so easy to infiltrate. Like, you don't think that, like, look at these popular accounts. They weren't popular a year ago. Like, these popular Twitter accounts that are controlling, like, fucking national fucking discourse, right? Look at Nico. Look Look at at Nico. He's fucking fucking crazy. I'm sorry. Nico, you are fucking crazy. And you are not well-intentioned. And I'm going to fucking say it right here. You are fucking crazy. You should not be leading a Medicare for all action. Yes. Because you voted for Tulsi and you shit on Bernie. Like, that's just it. You, I mean, even if you're like cool with it now, you weren't then. So you should not be leading it. That's what my point is. Like, I'm glad if you actually are. Great. But you should not be in charge of anything. Exactly. Exactly. Because you don't even know the difference between Tulsi's plan and Medicare for all. You don't even know the difference. Like, how can you lead a Medicare for all action when you don't even know the difference between those two plans? Like people are like, oh, it's Australia. I'm like, yeah, but Medicare for all is when you you have to get rid of private insurance as a primary payer. So basically, you have to outlaw it. And we cannot do we cannot do what Australia does because we already have a fucked up structural system where the private insurance industry is too fucking powerful. Like if we had some like smaller, like if we could like rebuild it and like really micromanage some, some system, but we we're taking on like 
Like, we're like little mice taking on, like, a fucking elephant. Like, you understand? Yeah. You can't just be like, control that. Like, if you, That's if it thing. was the it's other way us around. versus, like, the billionaires and the fucking rich people. And again, you look at how easy it is to just make a fake or, like, pay someone to make a Twitter account and just say, like, yeah, Biden sucks. Don't vote for Biden. And then all of a sudden you get a bunch of people that don't vote. Like, that's super easy. It's super easy. And you don't think that these, and again, if someone were to give me a million bucks, you bet your ass I would do that, right? So you don't yeah. think that there's like some just like, like, again, a million bucks is nothing to someone like Larry Summers or fucking Michael Bloomberg, right? Like these people, like they shit a million bucks for breakfast, dude. Like, so you don't think they're putting for some sure. money in these things that are just like funding dissent on social media networks like YouTube yeah. and Twitter? Yeah. Absolutely. The CIA probably is. Like, like, like hey, look at this. We can divide they? everyone up. Like, why wouldn't they? And they'll play they? both sides, too. They'll play both sides, too. Like, exactly. why wouldn't they? Like, we know that. That's what Jimmy speaks on. And that's one of the reasons I actually liked listening to him, because he was one of the only ones that really spoke on that. Um, so I'm not going to, like, go into this where I don't, I think, oh, he's, he's, I'm trying to discredit everything he does, because I, that was one of the reasons I did watch him. But when we think of who's the most powerful figure of the left right now, who's the only, basically only, like, amount of of some kind of power that we have as far as fundraising and grassroots. We're grassroots movement. So that means our small dollar funds, organizing uh, and digital campaigning, all of that, and just having that person who brings people in and even can bring in MSNBC wine mom sometime, which is their base, which they don't want anybody to touch. They don't want anybody to touch that. And Bernie could not get that. That's part of the reason he was not able to uh, over overperform you know enough to balance out like how they fucked him so if she if aoc can get that base the democratic party is done like they're gone like it's the aoc party so that is what they're afraid of they want to take her out and it's maybe it's that she's running for president i actually am 90 percent sure she's running for president from things that i've heard i don't want to just like say that and 24 um, I think I think she might. I actually think she might. I don't know, but I've I've heard that there is that she's feeling it out. I would say twenty eight would be a much like if she. I'm would be, I'm but. just saying I like Nina's my number one candidate, but I think well at least there's the threat of her running. They don't know what she's gonna do. They don't know what AOC is gonna do. Is she gonna challenge? They know Trump? that is she's. She gonna... They know that the like again she went from a bartender that only four people had ever heard of or met in their lives to the most popular fucking politician in the country, like in the span of a couple years. And how did she get discovered? Kyle Kalinske and Jank Uger's Justice Democrats program. No, 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 no. Jimmy discovered her. Okay? Right. I and forgot. Jimmy, and Jimmy Dore, of course. Of Jimmy course. Dore, he made her. He owns her. He's She's her a property and she better fall in line. But and, listen, you know, listen I mean, to this, say though. Lewd stuff. <laughs> like, what better way to prevent another AOC than go after the, the roots that, like, like these online left exactly. media figures make them all hate each other. Now Jank hates Jimmy, right? Kyle covers for Jimmy, even though he's not as dumb. Jimmy hates everybody, right? Make them all hate each other so they can't work in tandem anymore. And then you'll have fewer and fewer AOC-like figures spawn out. Because again, AOC make has transcended the left media uh, movement, exactly. but that's where like her roots are. So, and again, you don't think you can spend a couple million bucks like on a couple like thousand people just posting shit on Twitter or YouTube all day to make all these people hate each other? It's the easiest oh, yeah. fucking thing in the world. Yeah. It's the easiest fucking thing in the world. And you can make money doing it too. Yeah, and you probably like, make honestly, money doing it. Honestly, someone would pay you to do it. it probably, yeah. But anyway, I'm not I'm not going to go into this conspiracy theory that I'm like almost 90% sure I'm is 99. Accurate. I'm 99. <laughs> Fuck you. But yeah, like that's the one, the thing that worried me is that, that they're going after her and it's like, doesn't even make sense other than she's the face and of the movement. And it like, it, it trigger it like, right. It like gets incels off for them to like, just attack her. Like they, they have some kind of like, oh, they can't get enough of it or whatever. But the other thing is like when they're attacking the orgs and telling them like the single payer orgs, like the nurses union right now. Or, yeah, and or whoever fucking, they did not directly, not Jimmy directly, Dore's going but like after DSA and stuff too. It's like what the fuck? Yeah, are you doing? that's insane. That is fucking insane. You're trying to build a left movement 
Like, what do you think the left is? Like, you can what have you a criticism the left of DSA, is? right? Great. I have criticisms of DSA, right? But, like, yeah. going out there and saying D- DSA is evil, if you're DSA, you're evil. AOC is too much like DSA and she's evil. You're yeah. a dickhead motherfucker if you're in DSA. I- I'm sorry. Yeah. Single what? pair orgs are gatekeepers. Uh, keepers. They're trying to take away your health care. That's all they've been doing for the last how many years? They're trying to keep you from having health care. It's all fake. It's all a grip. That's fucking insane. Okay? And anybody listening to this, that is fucking insane. Nobody is doing that. Why the fuck would we do that? Why would anybody do that? Like, it is not, like, lucrative. Like, it's lucrative. Yeah, it's... It, you, it, these are... Nur- like, in nurses' union, you know how much money they make. I mean, they're fucking nurses. Like... <laughs> You're grifting like off of off of that with our paid staffers and shit like that. And it's I don't like know when if he's talking um, about them specifically. Like when Tim but... Pool goes after the fucking nurses for doing like dancing TikTok videos on their break. Yeah, or whatever. I saw that today. I'm like, it's fuck, like you're a you fucking multi-millionaire much, you? YouTuber sitting at home all day, like, and and you're gonna fucking go after people to make like 20k a year who are like the front lines of the fucking war. Like, what yeah. the fuck is the matter with you? And that's what Jimmy Dore is doing, but like in the left organizing sphere yeah he goes just far enough for them to like he pushes it a little bit every time and sees how much he can get them to accept and that's one of the things too he's giving people and you know what it is it's like that video that you share to aoc when she's speaking when you let that and this is why i'm going to tell these these people that were in the town hall the the you the whatever they the youtubers and yeah the the town hall also known as a podcast yeah, not the, not the, not the, um, you know, the people sharing their, is the, you know, working class people, I will say. I don't know, but it seems like th- there was like a class divide there. That's another yes. thing that bothers me. Yes. Um, like you see, like, and I'm not trying to be a shit divide. fucker about it, but you see like, you know, the fancy bookshelves and the plants and the photos and the portraits. And then you see like a wall with like a shelf with a bunch of mismanaged things. I mean, like it's I, it felt like extreme exploitation to me. And like again, if you watch my coverage of it, I was extremely fucking uncomfortable. Like I was it like, was. It, was. it was fucking hard to watch. And that's why. And then Katie Halper goes on Twitter last night and it's like, oh, if you're if you're saying any criticisms about the town hall and you're not sharing the stories that we share, it's such an obvious fucking grift and it's pathetic and it's fucking pathetic. And I don't want to be like to people that are that got sucked into it like you're super because you're not because it I can see how if I had lim- honestly there's people in some of my orgs and actually I um, I think I posted a tweet with one of the people that um, I organized with um, but I'm not we don't that org isn't really there anymore but I still talk to them about organizing and and just basically we shoot the shit and like ran about nihil- whatever it is <laughs> I can't mm. say that word. Um, ranting, but he said, I'm getting these tweets from someone, or not tweets, but Facebook messages from somebody they're like saying like, you need to leave, you need to ditch all of those people because uh, they're all Democrats and you need to join the People's Party or you're not a real Democrat. He's like, getting these and he sent I, me a I, screenshot. I don't doubt it. Like, you know, like anyone like, yeah, I get tweets like that. Like, yeah, it's, but yeah. yeah, absolutely. This was a real person too, and I don't know if he. This was he said. This is a real person too. Like I don't know know him, but I know that he's. Well, a that's real person. the thing is like if you're watching a show and you're quarantined and like it's been like there's no election going on anymore, so it's just like free floating shit. And Jimmy Dore is going off on this thing for two months, and you're just wrapped up into it, right? And like, of yeah. course, you're going to like. That's the thing that makes it like a religion. You're going to like be a, like a fucking disciple for the the religion yeah. of saint jimmy like i like seriously that's it what is this that's is. what i thought too it's like a televangelist they're almost. literally disciples of saint jimmy like i <laughs> i can't oh my god, oh my god. It's no but what i was saying before is like is like what i was saying in that video with aoc where she's saying when you to all the republicans when you allow this when you make excuses for this this you know abuse berating or like normalization you're contributing to that and every time somebody sees that you're granting people permission to do that if, if you don't call it out you're granting them permission so i need i, I personally my message is i need the people that surround jimmy to under to like think a little bit and understand the image and this is the other thing too if you're trying to do a people's party 
this is just attack ads. Like, how are you ever going to fucking run a candidate? No, no, the People's Party's done. It, it's done. It's, all it's over. done. No, but it's done. It's going to hurt Democrats, too, and that's what fucking pisses me off. Like, compare this I don't fucking even like shit. Democrats. Compare the People's I don't even Party like town hall, right? Why did they call it a town hall? Because they wanted to sound professional. So compare that to, I don't know, a Democrat town hall or a Republican town hall or a Libertarian town hall. Somehow, right, they're going to end up looking way worse than all of them. Why? Because they're fucking cringy. They're cringy losers. Yeah. And if you would have had everyone on there except Jimmy Dore, it might, you might have been able, but it still would have been intellectually bankrupt. It still would have been boring. You wouldn't have really captured anyone's attention besides the emotional manipulation part. But just having right. Jimmy up there yelling at other hosts, right, just acting like a general fucking loser, right? It's just ridiculous. Like sending like fucking death threat esque like fucking statements to AOC. Yeah, like it's no very Mickey, cringy. They're like sending death threats for her, but I noticed that No Miki was actually she was actually making a very rational case on her show. Her show and I didn't even really watch it. And now I watch it and it's like and I'm not just shilling for her. It's a good it's really good because she brings she actually brought debt collective on. I didn't even know about it. She brought them on like a week ago and they're trying to do a general strike. We're doing a we're doing a hundred day debt strike for our student debt um next month nobody fucking knows about it. Well, so I, now we that's do. our fault but we're smaller but um yeah i'm going i'm glad some people know but our, my local chapter is like really small we just started but um but these are things that people can join if you want that general strike join a debtors union nobody has jobs nobody like labor is weak on that end. and then why do you want to weaken the labor that's already there like we, it's if you want to have a left movement, that's what it is. It's do, all an op, and they're doing it. This for is cash. very top down shit. This is the most top fucking down shit I've ever seen, and that's dangerous. And he was saying, and Jimmy was saying to the DSA, that DSA leader in Chicago, that I even I didn't know who he was, but I'm like, oh, you're leader in Chicago. He was saying, well, you're you're demo democrat. He was like making fun of them and saying it was stupid that they were democratically deciding things. I'm like, are you fucking serious? You know, by How the way, decide democratic things? decisions. There are none in the People's Party. It's all Nick Branagh's little pet project. I'm thinking it's all Jimmy Dore's. Jimmy Dore now. I think, I'm I think he Jimmy has Dore, the money. I think they're both like just doing like an alliance. I think that it's probably going to be Jimmy Dore is going to run on their ticket in 24. That's my guess. I honestly, I didn't know at first, but once you said that, that one time, I'm like, oh my fucking God, because that's why that town hall video... Like, they were, like, showing pictures of, like, videos of him when he was younger. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, why do you need to do that? He's yep. right here. Yep. Um, <laughs> like, yep. That was really weird. Yep. And they're saying, like, this is not about Jimmy Dore, Jimmy Dore. You literally came out and you said this is the Jimmy Dore plan and everything has been circled around him and you've been handling him. It looks like he's already fucking running for president. Yep. That's what it looks like. It's their, 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 it's their staff. And I'm like, this is all set up. And it was set up sloppy because they set it up very quickly. So I don't. I, and, and they're also just dumb. <laughs> like, like I mean, well, Brie, they, is, Brie, I think is relatively yeah. intelligent, and that's what makes it so soul crushing. It's but I think, I think yeah. like a lot of the people involved with the People's Party are just dumb. Yeah, I think so. I think, or they don't care. I think that's a lot of it. It's not care. I don't care if I hurt you when I say this. Uh, I don't care that I'm. Uh, silencing voices of like marginalized communities, like you know, like Tim Black was trying to say something. You know, he just, he wanted and people having good faith discussion. I don't want to, you know, trans people, you know, they're not comfortable with, like, Tulsi and then endorsing Tulsi and whatnot. Um, and then women, they're not, in, they're not fine. They're not cool with him berating and, like, saying AOC's a schoolgirl. And they want to act like, you know, like uh, liberals whenever they fucking play fake identity punks. No, sometimes that shit's real. We don't need to pretend like it's always fake when people feel that way, that that's hurting them when they see it. And that's going to drive people away from our movement. Like, that reflects on all of us when they do that. And maybe that's why AOC and our orgs don't want to associate with them. Because they'll be like, "What? why would I want to be part of this? If AOC associated with Jimmy Dore, like, let's say before <laughs> December, let's say, like, she immediately heard the idea and was like, that's great, let's work together on it. That would still be a bad idea. But at this juncture, at this moment in time, siding with Jimmy Dore would be a disaster. That would be I will be mad at her if she does. Yeah, no, I will be mad I, at her because she 
she needs to stay strong for the women. She that's what she she did in the Senate, and I don't I don't know. She's probably like you know just fuck them. But I do know here's what, and this is what bothers me too is she said on that interview like a few weeks like around election time. She's like, I just feel like I want to quit. I didn't even know if I wanted to run again, but I felt like I had to do this to prove something, and I didn't want to like I didn't want to let the movement down. And I think that's when she doesn't have like feels nervous about doing something or doesn't have call it. Uh, courage to do something that just goes for all the squad but I feel like particularly her she has she has it's like a lot of pressure you don't want to fuck things up do the wrong thing and fuck things up so I mean yeah we need to give her some courage obviously but you can't give somebody courage if they think you're gonna fucking make attack videos and say it's not good enough you have to offer some support and then also say that I made you. I made you. So it's That's like this weird psycho. like parasocial like daddy daughter relationship in Jimmy's mind. And it's like That's scary too. It's fucking freak show level shit. It's literally Looney Tunes. Like you like Oh, uh, uh, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm I think like, uh, yeah. we should wrap up in the next five minutes. For or so. sure. Just yeah, just the last message to to the, the people in the circle doing this, you know, I don't know I don't know how to better to like communicate to you on this because i you know i tried nice i tried to out shit you know shout you know jimmy on some things i tried to like and i'm not trying to be like crazy but i just feel like nobody was getting this message across and it really bothered me and like i'm like want to stand up for that when i see it because nurses you know i was actually pissed off at them because i sent them a message and i was like what is are you going to make a statement on this or what i've asked you like in in a different different way like i contacted them on it and they're like didn't make it and then they finally sent me this weak message i'm like no you cannot do this they're like well let's let it let it go i'm like no you have to deal with it in some way or another you can't just fucking let shit like this go maybe you don't like and i'm i'm sorry like i don't need to be like spirit I'm like you know like we can't you can't just do that because now this is here now you ignore the problem and you just you don't really look like you're in charge of things and that's just adding to his thing because people are asking oh i don't know they're not doing anything because they haven't said anything so i guess i'll go with him because they don't seem to care so you know you can't just ignore that in my opinion but i wish everybody in that circle would just you got to stand up to this at some point you have to like like look at from the outside and see because i know like you're not like all you're not like i don't know you personally or whatever i don't think you're like terrible or you're like doing it's a bad state but I think you need a little perspective because you're in a bubble, okay? That media bubble that we're not in down here. It's not that we're talking down to you. I don't know how you can do that from the grassroots when you fucking, when we have like low income and like nobody has jobs, but that's a case Jimmy was making that we were just like too elitist. Like, I don't fucking I don't even know what to say about that, but I just want people to like think about this. Like, you can hate me or whatever, like, or you can be mad at me, um, but I just want people to think about it, and I want the people watch, uh, listening to this to kind of think about that, too. So. No, absolutely. Um, I think it's it, it's another thing because again, I'm I like when I let me just look at my analytics right now. When I started covering this whole scenario, I like I remember I counted it, like you, there's like a little thing you can see how many subscribers you lose and then how many verses like you gain and then like you can kind of have them. Um, but I noticed that I had lost like fucking 80 subscribers over the course of like three days. And it's like, fuck them. Fuck them. And that's yeah. where I like realized what the effect that Jimmy Dore was having. It's like, it's he wants his people to unsubscribe from other sources so that he can concentrate around those people and just harvest more watch time out of those people harvest more super chats out of those people it's just you know and of course you would that's what any youtuber would want to do but he's doing so in like such a bizarre fashion you know instead of just making yeah. his content just like really watchable and have people like you know um i think you know Miki's right too i think no Miki's right too because this is what this is doing is hurting like small you know smaller people that are trying to get started that have new ideas that aren't in that bubble it's like almost like not like MSM yet. Like it's like going in that kind of bubble yeah, direction to where absolutely. we got no Miki can't talk about how she feels as a woman about this. Are you fucking serious without getting death threats? And we're not to we're not allowed to like and we know like uh, that's why I want to do you, you to do that experiment where you put the the video the like the clickbait. I want to see if that's what happens. Like if you do like titles with that mm -hmm. and how many clicks you would get to like with with AOC's picture and like all that like fucking QAnon on and and alex jones shit and see how many clicks you'd get i just thought that would be a good experiment i don't know 
I've got uh, my analytics open, and I, I lost around 100, just some, like 120-ish subscribers over the last, like, three weeks. Uh, wow. Fuck them! Because I gained, like, 400, oh, yeah. so fuck them. I don't care oh, about you. Oh, you did? Okay, good. Yeah. Well, then you're then you're getting yeah, a better base, like... Exactly, and that's... But, so, like, but that's the thing, is that, like, it's all just a racket. Like, they just... they, they And then these people, if they only watch Jimmy Dore, then every time Jimmy Dore ignores a story... These people will ignore a story, and it and it that just goes into the alternate narrative, and that's why these people don't know what force the vote means. They don't because Jimmy Dore doesn't really talk about process ever, which you know process is boring. You can't really get many views on process, right? But and you don't teach your audience process, and you try to cull your audience and pluck them off of everyone else. Um, they're not going to know. Or process. you say it's unimportant. He's saying it's unimportant. Go with your feelings. Go with the moment. Just go. And we need this right now. And if they don't do this, then they don't care enough because we're doing it first. And don't wait for that conference. And I don't even think they should wait. I think they should go and fucking get rid of Pelosi and they should fucking attack the shit out of her because she's a. No, I don't want to say it. Um, but yeah, yeah she's she, garbage. Yeah, Fuck get her. rid of her. Um, yeah, she's a fucking. Yeah, bitch. no, I, no, she's a she's a bitch ass motherfucker. Like no one yeah. likes her. Like I seriously, like, I, and that's my thing. Is like I don't mind if you bully politicians, right? What I mind yeah. is who you bully and why you're bullying them. If you're bullying, right, right. um, let's say a wheelchair Nazi because he's a Nazi, okay, all right. If you're bullying him because he's in a wheelchair, I disagree with that. That's my thing. Um, true. And if, true. if you're bullying yeah. Joe Biden because he's a corporate ghoul. Fuck yeah. If you're bullying him because... Well, honestly, I'd bully him for the cognitive decline. But anyway, uh, any, on that note, on that note... Because he's being <laughs> irresponsible about it. But anyway, yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, um, yeah, I think we're on agreement there. Yeah, absolutely. Good conversation. All right. And you'll be a better person than, than they will because they'll start, lose, they'll start losing their credibility. And that's just sad. Like, you're going to start losing your credibility. Yeah, absolutely. And you, will, and you won't. They will. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Um, anyway, thank you for coming on. I appreciate you. Thank if you, you for having me. Again at some sorry. Point. <laughs> sorry for like the technical issues. I, I don't fine. think I've ever been on a podcast thing before. Well, there you so. go. See, now I'm etched into your lore. Now you're going to show this. <laughs> you're going to show this to your kids in 40 years. It was the first podcast I was on. And then I'm going to be like, hey, I've probably been dead for 38 years. No, I'm just kidding. People will be like, oh, yeah, I knew who's that Jimmy Dore. Like, she keeps talking about Jimmy Dore on the show, but I don't know who he is. Like, oh, yeah. No, so, I'm just never mind. Uh, anyway, so thank you all. Everyone have a good one. I'm going to hang up on you now. I'm going to censor your free speech. Yeah, okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye. Bye all right. Thank you, everyone. That's it. The stream's over. I have nothing else to say. Edward. Edward Cortez. Instead of criticizing someone like Jimmy or Branna, for trying to do something, what solutions are the ones criticizing them doing? I know you've subscribed to my channel for a while, buddy. I know you know what policy positions I support. I know that you're aware of uh, what I endorse and what I advocate for. So I'm going to let that speak for itself. And uh, see ya. <laughs>